Okay. So I said I'd talk about this. Uh, Italian Americans. Um, I think it's kind of disgusting the way uh, America, uh, the media, and the population in general uh, have treated and viewed Italian Americans. Um, I remember we had to do a book report on um, on immigrants in. Uh, is in the eighth grade and uh, read a book that said that Italians in Louisiana got paid less than black people. And when I said this, there was a lot of uh, screaming and yelling uh, from the few black kids in the class. That's not true. You're racist. This and that. Um, <clears throat> because the Italian Americans always interest me. Um, but it's true. Um, because the blacks are black, the whites were white, but what the hell are Italians? They didn't, they figured they were just a mongrel people. And it's very funny how, uh, when movies are made, uh, they don't really use Italian, um, Italians to play Romans. They use people of Germanic or English descent. You always see, uh, the, um, <coughs> the... <coughs> The Caesars and the uh, emperors of, you know, of Rome is these people with English accents. Uh, and like I said in the thing about the lost Gnostic Gospels, they've, they showed Constantine with a blonde hair, page boy haircut, <clears throat> like a medieval king of um, some province in, in uh, Saxony or something like that, you know, some Germanic province. Uh which is all false. I mean, you can just look at a bust of Constantine. Um, and for those who say that there were, um, the, I mean, for the Afro-Israelism, uh, it's that, oh, all ancient Italian emperors were black. Just look at the facial features. Even if they had dark skin, it still does not make them West African. Uh, and bronze does corrode into black. But new bronze, or burnished bronze, or whatever you want to call it, is... Um, golden tan and uh, the bust of somebody in gold I mean that's the highest thing in bronze because it lasts forever just like in marble just because things are caught out of marble doesn't mean that was the skin color of the people uh, <clears throat> in America a little black sambo is considered racist right uh, after, what, the 60s, Little Black Sambo was gone. It wasn't in comic books or uh, cartoon strips or anything like that. Yet, Super Mario Brothers, a stereotype of Italians with the big mustaches, plumbers, the overalls, um, the hats and everything, that was fine. That's okay. Uh, any other ethnicity, it would be an outrage, especially if it was Arab or... Uh, and this was in the 1980s, the 1990s. Um, the most culturally sensitive time. Now there's beginning to be a bit of a backlash against this kind of stuff. Um, Betty downstairs is going crazy. I don't know why. Maybe the wind is blowing, barking at nothing. Um, but I remember watching about seven years ago, maybe even more, uh, that uh, people with Italian last names were passed over at places like Harvard and Yale. They did study that somebody had applied with the name Smith, or if they applied with the name Esposito or uh, Rosati, Cavalcanti, um, <coughs> Uh, Orlando, Rivera, any of these Italian last names. Yes, Orlando and Rivera can be Spanish also, but um, usually Italians have longer names. Uh, they have like a, a few last names. Sometimes, some parts of Italy. Uh, they'd get passed over. And there was a bias against it. Uh, in the media, how are Italian Americans portrayed? as stupid, as uh, blue-collar, 
if they're in uh, politics, they're real slimy, you know, greedy, mafia-connected. Uh, they're always shown as, um, as mafioso-type things, like The Sopranos, which I refuse to watch because I think it's racist. Um, the, uh, all the, all the movies, um, <clears throat> that you can think of that have Italians in them, and they're about Italians, are mafia movies. It's disgusting. Uh, I urge anybody of Italian descent to join the NIAF. Um, and to fight for equality because while it's taboo to speak against a black person or uh, anybody else from any descent Italians are claimed to be white but then yet oh well they're not really white well no they are not white okay they're European not white uh, was, oh the northern Italians well those aren't really italic people, those are Germanic people that came in, um, and many through the barbaric hordes, or just being, uh, bordered with, uh, Switzerland and France. Uh, they're a Latin people, they are Latino. Yeah, if you're talking about Latino, Hispanic excludes the Italian people, because it's, uh, well, Hispanic is originally Spain, and then the Spanish-speaking countries, but if you say Latino, that includes Brazil, Portugal, Italy, um, and uh, there's one South American country that um, is Italian-speaking, and then there's Argentina that has a huge population of Italians down there. Um, so Italians are Latin people, they are Latino. Um, uh, every double standard can be applied to them. And it's disgusting. Now again, like Serbia, uh, are you Serbian? Uh, no, but I speak out against the injustices that have been seen. Well, the injustices in America against the Italian people, the discrimination, is appalling. Um, and no, I'm not a multiculturalist. I don't, uh, you know, I'm not used to... You know, screaming about, oh, this person or that person, or we need this or that, or the rights for this people or that people. But if you look, uh, I mean, even uh, the Jersey Shore, I thought that's dis I would never, I wouldn't watch an episode of it. It's just disgusting. Uh, the term Guido, like the, the this girl I worked with, oh, yo, those Guidos, and I'm like, wait, excuse me, what did you say? I said, oh, I just thought it meant white trash or something like that. I'm like, yeah, you know. Or people who call, you know, those, uh, uh, they're called A-shirts. They're, um, people call them wife beaters. Oh, it's a Dago T. You know, people don't even think. You know, as if it's like, uh, you know, it's like if, oh, you fixed your car with duct tape. Oh, you nigger rigged it. I mean, that's disgusting. Nobody says that anymore. Uh, the, uh, the ethnic hatred, uh, the ethnic bias against Italians, especially Italian Americans, as just mafioso thugs or criminals or uh, low class is terrible. If you look at the uh, what Italian Americans have given us, uh, have given America, the contributions they've made has been fantastic and. The one uh, holiday that the Italians have, which is, besides St. Joseph's Table, the one national holiday that they have is Columbus Day. The way the Native Americans rant and rave about that. Well, it was the Spanish that conquered um, all of, all of uh, the land. Um, Columbus was a man of his time, but you know what he did? He was the one that actually united... Uh, the new world and the old world. The Vikings, yeah, came over, whatever, uh, uh, but they didn't make a link. It was Christopher Columbus that took the ships and actually said, sail, I'm going to sail that way. I'm not going to fall off the edge of the earth. Yeah, it was, a, it was a common myth back then that the earth was flat by some uneducated people, uh, but the Greeks knew the world was round, uh, <coughs> and so did many people at that time. And they said, well, no, you couldn't do it. You're going to starve to death because uh, it's too long to get there, to get to Asia. 
but he discovered America. How can you discover a place that already has civilization? Well, if we had, if there was civilization on Mars, we'd say, well, we discovered civilization on Mars. So yeah, it, it was discovered. Um, <laughs> and the fact that the Sioux Indians and the, the Cherokee would protest uh, Columbus Day is disgusting. Uh, blame the people who you should blame. Uh, the American government that took away the land and the settlers. Uh, Columbus went for trade. He didn't go to capture or enslave people. Somebody said, oh, there was a note in his journal one time that these people would make good slaves. Again, a man of his time. Uh, it was the Portuguese and the Spanish. Is anybody going to blame the Spanish? Or the Portuguese, or, you know, go crazy on them. Uh, in fact, many people from uh, Latin American countries know the names of the ships that uh, Christopher Columbus sailed on. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Uh, I remember, uh, because on Jay Leno, there was, uh, you know, what do you know about, you know, America or whatever. And they, there was a Dominican lady who, um, they asked what were the ships of the... Uh, of Columbus, and she got really happy. Oh, I know this one, and she spouted out, boom, 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 boom. Um, so this uh, this self hatred that exists in um, America and maybe Canada uh, doesn't exist in the rest of America. It doesn't exist in Mexico, Colombia, Colombia named after Columbus. In fact, I think America shouldn't be named after Amerigo Vespucci. It should be. Colombia, it should be the United States of Colombia. Um, again, just my thoughts on this issue. Um, and think about the double standard of, uh, of Super Mario Brothers and uh, Little Black Sambo. It's, it's disgusting. It's time that uh, if, uh, if it's not okay for one, it's not okay for the other. If it's okay for one, it's okay for the other. So I... Uh, I'm speaking out against the discrimination of Italian Americans. Uh, I am Arab, Latino, and Irish. This is not some self interested thing. Peace to you. May God save Serbia. And uh, if you're an Italian American, uh, join the NIAF. Peace to you. Italian-Americans always interest me. Um, but it's true. Because um, blacks are black, the whites were white, but what the hell are Italians? They didn't, they figured they were just a mongrel people. And it's very funny how uh, when movies are made, uh, they don't really use Italian um, Italians to play Romans. They use people of German province in, in uh, Saxony or something like that, you know, some Germanic province, uh, which is all false. I mean, you can just look at a bust of Constantine. Um, and for those who say that there were, um, the, I mean, for the Afro uh, Israelism, it's that, oh, all ancient Italian emperors were black. Just look at the facial features. Even if they had dark skin, it still does not make them West African. Uh, an immigrant in uh, this is in the eighth grade, and uh, read a book that said that Italians in Louisiana got paid less than black people. And when I said this, there was a lot of uh, screaming and yelling uh, from the few black kids in the class. That's not true. You're racist. This and that. Um, <clears throat> because he's manic or English descent, you always see uh, the um, <coughs> the <clears throat> the Caesars and the uh, emperors of you know of Rome is these people with English accents. Uh, and like I said in the thing about the lost Gnostic Gospels, they they showed Constantine with a blonde hair, page boy haircut, <clears throat> like a medieval king of. Um, Okay, so I said I'd talk about this. Uh, Italian-Americans. Um, 
I think it's kind of disgusting the way uh, America, uh, the media, and the population in general uh, have treated and viewed Italian Americans. Um, I remember we had to do a book report on. Um,